This pleasant surprise came to the museum from one of my followers, Jason, who had uh, surprisingly gave, gave me a Mitel IP PBX without really much anything in return. Um, I really appreciate it, and in today's clip I just want to show you how um, uh, the folks that I got. Uh, basically, I got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, six sets, if I'm not mistaken. There might be one that's hiding, actually. Uh, six sets and a, um, a sidecar. Um, pretty nifty. Um, did I count the one over there? Let's see, one, two, three four, five, six, seven, all right, seven sets in one sidecar. A lot of the Mitel phone systems, from my experiences, uh, typically have about four call appearances. You can't go beyond four, unfortunately, and there's a lot of feature buttons. Um, it's a lot of probably uh, presets. This is set up as the operator music section, so I'm going to call myself. Actually, that's a Tubbs. You can see it. But try to call my extension. The cool thing about um, what Jason and I did is he gave me three uh, 50 through 30 screen phones. They're so, so awesome, and I like that. Let's actually um, tell. Like, call, tell myself to call the operator. How you do that? You press uh, the message key. And, I'll, and now on my um, other end, it's going to tell me that um, that um, the operator tried calling me and it's sending a message to call me back. Now in the bio systems, you have to press a, a specific key and um, do that. But you can just do that on the voice voicemail access button, which is kind of neat. Um, here on this on this set, um, this is the the fifty three thirty. As I mentioned earlier, I, I love this. I love these screen phones. Um, it gives me up to twenty four uh, set keys. And oh, something on the third screen. And then I have my soft keys up here. Um, I could do the call me back. So it's kind of cool. It's very organized in my opinion on the screen phones compared to like their their first generation sets. Um, the other thing too is because it's screen you could actually manipulate the keys. This this is not my tell. I made that up. That's do not disturb. Um, the super key um, which is kind of a caveat because you think this blue button is it does really much of the the hardware settings for the phone. So for to like change your ringtone, you will need to actually program a super key, and then you can change your settings that way. Call for any personal keys um, and your ringtones and all that. Um, let's see the other thing. Um, there really isn't that many, um, uh, I mean, my tells are pretty much standard fare in terms of phone, um, systems. They do things differently and a little more un uniquely, like, here. I'm, I'll actually, um, call me back from the operator. You see that? So that's kind of how that works. And you could do voice back of the thing. Mitel set. You have the, the little stand, and you can set it to two ways. Um, you got the Mac address, which is just important to tell the phone, the Mitel system, a uh, Mac address to look up against to give it settings. And then over here, this is the expansion module to do the side cards and for the PC track. So you could actually, by taking out this module, taking out with the Phillips, unscrew it, take this out, you could put a gigabit, you could, uh, for the PC, 
and you can do um, the sidecars and you can do an electric failover if, the, if there's no connectivity so it will actually work like a POTS phone when when you have no connectivity which is good for probably 911 uh, call centers and all that so that's kind of cool and over here this is what it's like when it's standing really tall and you see this set and then um yeah um uh, one more thing um in terms of this uh side car um this side car module it's 5448 um programmable key module so it's not totally like a um um, a setup where you have the hundred group selects like you see on the larger systems. Um, this actually could go on, on a MyTel operator set. Um, MyTel sets work more like a key uh, setup, believe it or not, in, on the larger ones. So you, um, if you if you handle a lot of calls, the the easiest way for MyTel is to program. Uh, dedicated keys so it would look silly when you have this against a SX2000 uh, operator switchboard um, but it's compatible but you can see over here just how you got the PC or the PCs here and then this is the PKM the most interesting as I dial myself the other interesting thing too with this is it's so different from on my telephone as I drop in something else again here. But I think this is all a good day to record because everything's just going to hell in the handbasket. Um, but you see here, similar setup, it looks like on my telephone. Um, looks so different, you know, less just the fact is you don't have a handset. Which just kind of cool, it keeps the design consistent, probably manufacturing. Uh, lower the manufacturing costs if you use the same type of um, equipment and all that, or casing for that matter. So that's basically it. And I'm working on improving this phone system. Um, the way you have to, the way you administer it is you have to have Internet Explorer version six, which is gonna, which you probably need to have a virtual machine these days to manage it, because you know no one but you should be using. IE6 for uh, production uses as um, but anyways I wanted to thank Jason for the, the, the pleasant surprise I will I'll send them a little note and um, and I appreciate it and um, this is kind of cool because I got a nice full fledged VoIP system that, that, not that I need another one or anything like that but that is it I really like this set <laughs> that's why I'm looking at it Alright, so thank you for watching. If you like any of this stuff, please follow me or send me some nice thoughtful notes and comments. That would be really appreciated. Alright, see you later.